Henry, 2021 has been incredible. I know you can never imagine the last couple of months you've had, but did you feel that you were building there, quality-wise? No. <laughs> you know me, I couldn't. I was like, well, sure. I went to Cheltenham last year with a similar team, and you know, everyone was saying we'd have could be leading trainer and stuff like this. And I was, I don't think that'll happen. But you know, hopefully, we might get more than two. And we still ended up with two couple unlucky, couple of didn't go right, you know, whatever, various reasons. But this year, everyone was saying, is this is, you know, the strongest team you've ever had? And I was going, I'm not sure. I think last year was, was as strong, funnily enough. You know, but a lot of things fell right for us. You know, we just, it just clicked. Our jockey was riding out of our skin. All our jockeys were brilliant. Like after the champion hurdle, now, you wouldn't have noticed any change in Rachel, but after it, like I suppose we all decompressed a little bit, and um, that comes with that release in Cheltenham. Yeah. When you have one on the board, yeah. you get it in the yeah. fourth race. And it's her like is, you know, honey, like yeah. she's our big one going over. You know, one of our real big ones. It's a beautiful straight eleven victories for Honey Circle. She is the winner of the Unibet Champion Hurdle. Chardin Did you feel she was a better mare this year than she was last year? I thought she was just so impressive at uh, Leopardstown, yeah. At home, did I? Not really. She's bigger and stronger. You've seen her there. You know, she's, she's always been a slight enough mare, but she definitely was bigger and stronger this year. You've had such a good week. You have a Plutar and Manila Indo in the Gold Cup. Are you thinking, have I had my lot? I'm sure after the champion hurdle, I was thinking <laughs> I had my lot. You know, that's me. Um, what am I thinking? Look, I just want them to come back all right. You know, that's that's really what I'm thinking. Hopefully put up a good performance, but come back. You know, these, geez, these are horses you dream of having, you know. Top of the hill, are you thinking, I'm going to win the Gold Cup? No, definitely not. Um, what race are you watching? <laughs> I'm watching album photo. And, <laughs> and I'm watching my two taking each other on down to the second last, going, oh, geez, they're, they're going to cut each other's throats. And here's Paul hunting away, hunting away. No, about halfway up the hill, I'm going, OK, yeah, we're going to win the Gold Cup. This is unbelievable. But yeah. you're going to have the first and second. Yeah, that's dreamy stuff. That's crazy, yeah. Vanilla Indo is all out, flat out, but he wins the Gold Cup from his second half, Luton. So you make your way home on the boat from Cheltenham lockdown, no massive party, and then you're going back to entry. And you're kind of thinking, well, sure, look, we always had Cheltenham. Mm. Or are you thinking in the Grand National to have a life? You're always hoping, aren't you? But, I, you know, I, yeah, like you're kind of going, oh, it's a bit, yeah, you know, Lady Luck might have left us now or whatever. And, and, and that's it. Like, what an unbelievable season we've had. See three of them going out on the second circuit. Like, it's a race we haven't really, you know, I think we finished seventh in it. Fast forward on then. Going out the second circuit, back of the canal turn, back of Valentine's. You still have three, three yeah. live chances. Yeah, yeah, it was incredible. Are you starting to not thought... look at the big screen now, or are you thinking what's going to happen, or you know what the run I'm having? These are just going to be first, second, and third. <laughs> um, I'm starting to think, uh, yeah, like just Rachel, like uh, when you saw your dad's horse getting more or less taken out of it, that horse could have fallen either way, and I'm going. Is she seeing around corners, or, or are we just getting an unbelievable run here? You know, because that could easily have happened either way. In a bad year, he'd have fallen to his right. You know, you have to give Rachel a lot of credit. Um, but then Paddy's cantering. Uh, any second now is coming back into it. Um, but our two are cantering as well. Like, yeah, we're going to certainly get our best run in a national anyhow for a start. So that's exciting. Jump the last. Three becomes two, yeah. and it's just your two. But you're standing there thinking, champion hurdle, champion chase, gold cup, and the Grand National. Could you believe what you were watching? No, I actually had a little bit of a tear in my eye. I, I was just, I was stunned. Alice Plunkett came over to me straight, you know, more or less before they crossed the line. And yeah, look, no, you couldn't, you couldn't just, yeah, blown away. Manila times for Jay McManus, Henry de Bromhead, and more significantly, Rachel Blackmore. History in the national, Manila times wins from Balco de Flo. So when you stand here now, was the, just before Punchestown, and you have all of those horses here. Do you just wish this year would just keep going? Do you just wish this season wouldn't stop? Um, uh, oh look, yeah, of course you would, but I mean, you have to be realistic about these things. And to be honest, it's about moving forward. 
it's fantastic that we've achieved this. Rachel, everybody, you know, it's been an incredible year. I mean, I, I always say to myself, if I can maintain, not this year, because this has been ridiculous. Uh, if I could, if you can maintain what we have for the last four or five years for the rest of my life or my career, I'll be absolutely over the moon. I couldn't, you know, it's, it's, we're very, very fortunate. So, but you have to be looking forward to do that.